Today, for the first time, I'm gonna show you the back end of my main eBay account, which I created exactly 10 years ago on the 24th of March. I'm gonna tell you how I started each and everything from zero. And if you want to get started today, how you can get started as well. So this is the seller central on the back end of my eBay account. This is my main eBay account. I have another account, which I recently created as well. You might have seen that one in many videos. So let's talk about this one. I got 330 orders. Today, sale was 1,000. 124 last seven day sale was over 9000 in last 90 days the sale was over 83000 keep in mind it took me 10 years to be at this level this is not something i created overnight but the first thing is that i started i was working nine to five job but i always wanted to start something on my own i didn't have the money to buy the stock in bulk from china so i used to go to the local shops like a poundland and check the sales section inside the argos and stuff like this and used to list those cheaper item on ebay in the retail arbitrage i used to buy the stuff cheaper from the stores like this pack and post everything by myself as well it came to the point even i got featured in a newspaper like sun and mirror as well not a lie i will leave the link under the like button but what if you want to start something like that today do you have to go to in these stores and then search for the product and then list them on ebay with the technology that we have today the things have got really easier just give me 10 seconds and I will show you the tool which will help you to find these products from a local store and you might be able to order directly from the website and ship it directly to the customer as well. This video is sponsored by Awesome. Awesome is market leading accounting and bookkeeping solution for e-commerce businesses like you. If you want to sell on eBay and Amazon, you need help with accounting and bookkeeping. Awesome is the way to go. They can help you with the company formation, with the tax, with the VAT return for each and everything related to accounting and bookkeeping. I will leave the link for them inside the description. Make sure you check that out and let me show you the tool where you can find the products. The tool that you can use today is called Profitil. I will leave the link for that inside the description as well, but let me show you how it works. Inside the Profitil, they have over thousand product which they have found from a retail store and they have found the expensive price for them on the websites like eBay and Amazon. So for example, look at this product right here. This is on the Argos. It's a printer being sold for 329. Same product on the Amazon is being sold 799. That's the price on the Amazon. The next product right here, it's a Xbox controller for 59 pound and the same product on the Amazon is being sold for 124 pound as well. Once you're listing the product from a retail store, the one thing you have to make sure is that retailer do not include their packing. Nowadays, nobody really include their invoices because of environment, all that kind of stuff as well. But the stuff like Argos, they will come in a branded packing. If you are starting out a retail arbitrage business and you will go to the Profitil, you will find over a thousand products. 90% of the suppliers you will find, you will be able to directly order for the customer from the supplier website. So they don't normally include their packaging as well. But with the retail arbitrage obviously you're not spending any money up front once you receive the order you just simply order for the customer you just have to make sure the retailer do not include their packing even if the product is on the argos you have to keep in mind in the business in the beginning you have to do a little bit of hard work just like me i used to go to the shop pick the product from there, pack it by myself, and then ship the product to the customer. But the main important point is how much money you can make by doing this. To be honest with you, I created a new account that you can see right here. On this account, I haven't sold anything last month because I was in Pakistan. So the last 30 day sale is 1,790. This is a brand new account, which I created a couple of months ago, just to start from the scratch, just to test if I'm starting from today how everything gonna feel like so I can create a videos about it as well. Profit margin on this account is somewhere between 800 pound to 1200 pound per month until now. This is the brand new account but that might be the only money you need or maybe Maybe you want to have an electric gate just like you've seen, or maybe you want to buy a Tesla just standing behind here. It's the other car that I have. 
wishes are endless right here so let me show you how this is done i will show you the whole tour for the warehouse like how we manage all the business from here that video will be coming soon for that you want to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button so you don't miss that coming back to subject the point which i was trying to make with the retail arbitrage with the drop shipping and with the print and demand you can make a decent income but there is a limit to it if you want to scale these business you can't scale it beyond some number it won't really make you rich let's say it straightforward like it will pay you bills and that might be only wish you have but if you want to go beyond that you will have to invest in the product so at this level i had a question like where can i get this investment that's the number one and then what product can i sell if i will have an investment what can i buy from china and how can i know those product will sell as well so we need to add print and demand and we need to add drop shipping as well and the reason i'm saying this because once we are selling these product you will get the clear picture and the clear idea what product sells for example if i find a product from a poundland and that product is selling really well then it will be up to me to actually source that product from a wholesaler cheaper than a pound land as well so obviously if you just stop there and you don't want to scale it then you can keep on selling from a pound land but you have to pay one pound for it but pound land doesn't buy their product for one pound obviously they are a lot cheaper so this is the way you have seen this product is selling and then it really comes down to your courage to take next step as well but you need to add with the drop shipping and with the print and demand so you can have the initial investment so you, and you can have a knowledge as well let me give you a couple of tips about the print and demand and the drop shipping and we will talk about sourcing in bulk as well you can go to the websites like salesy so salesy is a uk supplier with the uk supplier but you do just filter to their uk warehouse and see what products they have and then list those products as well same thing with hustle got real as well they have their uk warehouse and then you filter that to uk warehouse and list the product and you will have a mixture of a retail arbitrage and a drop shipping and on the top of that why not just add print and demand because every little thing will add up on at the end of day so i've been using printify for that when i was doing print and demand you can design your own mugs and stuff like this on canva or you can hire somebody on a fiverr they can design it for you if they are relevant to whatever the event is coming let's say a christmas day or a mother's day or valentine day the chances of getting a sales from your t-shirts from your mug all that kind of stuff are going to be higher so with the drop shipping retail arbitrage and a print on demand you don't have upfront investment so you got nothing to lose on the top of that you actually learn how to list the product how to get more customer how your picture should be so the knowledge which really matters before you move on to the wholesale one you will learn all that for free without having to buy some courses you know there are gurus out there sell you expensive courses as well you might wonder like how much investment do you really need if you decide to go for a wholesale one to be honest you can start for little as 500 to 1000 pound as well let me show you so you get a little bit of idea you know we are talking about right here let me show you what i mean by that just as a fun fact i remember buying the first product from aliexpress i bought around 50 of headphones for 35 pound that was like the first product that i bought just going on a google it's not like very advanced but just to give you a courage to make you a bit motivated to get started going on a google typing amazon best sellers with Amazon best sellers, it will actually tell you what are the best selling product on Amazon. Let's say I will go with the watches just to get a little idea. You can see right here, this one is not a brand of any kind, nothing. They are selling watches as expensive as $10.99 as well. It's just like a generic product to be honest with you. Right here on the Alibaba, you can see these watches like right here you can get them made little as little as 275 even you want to start with the small pieces as well 
of course the higher the quantity will be the price will become cheaper but i normally never really go for this price i mean if you talk to them they will obviously give you a discount even for small quantity as well let's put the shipping on the top each and everything let's say this watch will cost you three dollars not three dollars three pound let's say that with the landing and these watches are going on amazon for as much as 10 pound so the point i'm trying to make and i have a, a detailed videos it's not harder as you think once you get into it through the easier way the way i explain the things will become more understanding and easier so like comment and subscribe i'm gonna link one video right here and one video right here and here which will explain you the product research for free you don't have to use the paid tool and the other video will be how to buy the stuff from alibaba and bring it to the uk as well everything will be explained in that video make sure you check